Hi, hello everyone, greetings to everybody. Today we're gonna have on our channel the Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy. Hi, this Montreal Guardians of the Galaxy is a purely linear story driven adventure. Moreover, it's not based on a specific comics, book or films. This is one of the alternative universes where there are famous characters but their fate is different. And you do not need to read the Marvel Dictionary before that. All the information about the what the game will be given to you anyway. Let's put it this way. If you watched movies, then that will be enough. Even if fun is not necessary, the game Guardians of the Galaxy is very self-sufficient as a separate story of separate world. What else is interesting in a game, we will tell you in our review. You'll play as the Peter Quill, the commander of the Guardians of the Galaxy team. Despite their high heroic status, the five heroes are almost always standing and in search of money, which is why they always end up in unpleasant situations and wanted lists. So at the time, the Guardians of Verified Tip are sent to quarantine Forbidden Sector in order to grab the legendary monster and then sell it. Naturally, they are went to fail. The Guardians are caught by the Nova Corps, a sort of logical galactic policeman, and they are fine. At the same time, without knowing it, Peter releases a powerful creature, and while the Guardians are sent on an extravagant and delicious way to get money, Evil is trying to devour the entire galaxy. And this is just a general scene, because if start to tell more, I will have to retell the half of the game. The point is the plot of the game is constant flux. The problem and solution of the Guardians do not dwell on a point and are lazy to find that, for example, they fly to pay a fine to the logical galactic police. And a few minutes later they are robbing the owner of a zoo or rare monster on the planet while lightning strikes constantly. And this is coolest moment in the game. A funny, beautiful, epic and sometimes even dramatic adventure. Characters never stop, they constantly communicate, location change and you want it to not end. Most of all it resembles the Uncharted series of the game. Only the main characters instead of abandoned template and sanctuaries from fly from one of um, fantastic planets to another. In doing so you will be solving problems both outside and inside the team. At the beginning of the game the heroes do not trust each other very much. Some mental scars are fresh, but in the proceeds the team members reveal themselves much deeper than in the movies, and from this become a little closer to the player. Game heroes look like cinematic ones in a character Peter Stalwart Quill is a kind of native adult teenager stolen from Earth in his young. The genetically modified raccoon rocket is a talented engineer and always drags everything that lags badly. Drugs the destroyer, Gamora is the most dangerous on the appropriable woman in a galaxy. Groot is the only representative of its abnormal genius. He is very strong but kind naive and speaks with one phrase only, I'm Groot. But the fates of heroes in this universe are different. For example in this world, Thanos did not collect the ring of drugs killed him. Quill is not all friends with Yontu and there are no Avengers here at all. Some of the information can be read but those heroes themselves will tell you most of the information along the way. The constant dialogue between the characters is both a highlight and a curse of the Guardians. Yeah, you will learn a lot of about your companions and the world in which they exist. Moreover, they have a very live and natural conversation. They joke, tease each other, doubt, admire and complain. The characters are mood and revealed through the constantly instant character, but this is what all times becomes a minus. The characters don't shut up, generally. They talk to each other constantly and sometimes they turn to you. And if at this moment you are busy with something or trying to concentrate on other information, the chatter merged into a single white noise. It also comes to the point that conversations are blubbly cut off because you have reached the plot trigger and the new dialogue has begun. It seems to me that if you set yourself the goal of listening to everything that the hearers can say, it will take about 50 hours to play. One thing is the good that most of the time it's just a character but if you miss something very important they will repeat it to you. While I say that the heroes speak to you I mean a dialogue system that allows you to slightly influence the um, events so you 
influencing what is happening. But this is more a variant from the Telltale games than the Mass Effect. This is... you will not have the frequent and large dialogue treats. You are more a listener, and most of your raw answers are more comfortable playing quail for your personality. The general plot from your decision will not change and will end exactly as intended, but sometimes those who you help will come to your aid. There is even a special meeting on it you have to choose one of the answers to motivate your friends. If the meeting is successful, then everyone gets an increase in damage and a quick cooldown of the abilities. And if not, they only will receive an improvement. A cool track from Peter's playlist always plays a nice bonus. All this sounds interesting, but in fact, fighting is the most boring and routine part of the game. The problem is that your entire team deals very scanty damage to enemies is passive in combat. Significant damage is given only by the special techniques, but only you can activate them, and after using them, you have to wait, and they also do not shine with a very special variety. As for the visuals, everything is great, there are cool finishing moves, animation and effects, but in practice there is an only couple of tricks that cause worthwhile damage. Due to low damage, your enemies turn into the damage sponges. And okay, if you have a large robot in front of you, but the situation reaches the point of absurdity when they two heroes, five of them, move to some ordinary soldier in quality jacket. At such moments, all the epic nature of what is happening disappears, and it seems that you have fallen into some kind of MMO where your enemies are just stripes of life above their heads. Battles take place in areas when a dozen identical soldiers or creatures are pulled on you. And until you kill them all, you will not advance further. In the second half of the game, it starts to get very tiring against the backdrop of cool and dynamic scenes and events. Moreover, the game has a fairly flexible, difficult setting where, for example, you can increase the damage from quill cannons, but even it's not enough. That is, the battles are not difficult, but rather procreated. And another rather important problem of the game is the bags. Unfortunately, there are quite a few of them here, and they are technical. Sticky controls, breakdowns of scripts, glitches of the graphics, in some location it was necessary to again save and Again and again, every 10 minutes, because something broke, or one of the menu items stuck in the middle of the screen. This may be PC flaws, but they can be quite annoying at times to times. Fortunately, there were no moments that could not be solved by loading. There is a hope that all this will be affixed with the future patches, but the impressions were not very pleasant. With all the bugs, the language does not dare to call the game low quality, because it looks like uh, good and plays phenomenally. Aedas has gone to some crazy picture level, detailing design, location, textures, light all together, make a jaw fall off when you arrive on another colorful planet. The production of cutscenes and animations, including facial ones, researches the level of Sony exclusives. I would like to look at everything, stop the game to sake of juicy screenshots and replay again for the sake of dynamic existing scenes. Guardians of the Galaxy is a very beautiful and effective game. Another element that contributes to the atmospheric music, or rather the Star Lord playlist. According to the plot, Peter Quill leaves the planet Earth with an old Walkman player, where various 80s drive tracks are recorded on a cassette. Mostly rock, but there are also more melodic pieces. The same music plays all the time on a Quill's ship, but it's also included that the most epic scenes and it is perfectly complement with the whole picture. You are even more charged with the energy of your movement, you want to shake your head, to beat and even sing along. So, Guardians of the Galaxy is a great space adventure that constantly takes you to new places and keeps you busy. The characters funny, dramatic and epic dialogues perfectly reveal both themselves and the world in which they live. Despite the routine fighting, the increasing stream of character and nasty bugs, the Guardians make to keep them excitement and interest even better than the film. But the main thing is that Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy is almost a reference, a representative of rich and existing single-player adventure games, and I would like to recommend to players without any exception. Thank you for watching, don't forget to comment and subscribe, peace!